Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and if you're new consider subscribing as I do videos every week or so. Um, today me and the dog are going to head over to the Lake District and check out two mine sites, um, two surface sites and maybe one bit of underground but we'll see. But anyway if you like the video give it a like, subscribe and I'm absolutely shattered because it's 5 o'clock in the morning but we'll see how the day goes. Thanks for watching. Right, so we've arrived, it's like 7 o'clock in the morning and now we've got a long walk up to the first mine site. So we've been walking for about 10 minutes. We just made it to the River Derwent. We just followed the path right. Um, we didn't realise that it was snow and I don't know whether that picks up on the camera. But all the mountains around have got snow on so I don't know what the mines are going to be like. So we came to this. Uh, it takes us across the River Derwent and then we cross another bridge just over there and then I think we head up between those mountains just behind them trees. I'll try and brighten this video up when I get home. Right, so we've just had a five minute break. Obviously Patch wants to keep on going but I'm too fat. Um, show you where we came from. That village that way, I think it's like a mile, a mile and a half from where we're sat. So it's taken us about 40 minutes because we got lost. But heading on up there. Yet again, another rest. Shattered. It doesn't help that I done a 24 hour shift yesterday. But I'll get up there. We're just coming up to the first uh, slate mine building. All oh, the remains of one anywhere. We've not seen a mine yet, but we came from down there and we followed it round and then up there. Can't see any in the hills either, but definitely spoil heaps there. So we're going to have a look at this old building. Ignore the dog weighing up everything. That's what he does. If I was to guess, there will be an addit in that gap there.
This mine had some lovely views. Here we are. We found one in the place where I said still got the rails coming out of it also. Patch is eager to get in, as usual. See? There he goes. Here, you haven't even got a head torch or a helmet on. Yeah, so the rails are going straight in. Some uh, bit of machinery there. We will check this out. We're going to have a look across the top. Up here, mate. How are you then? Good lad. Straight up. Um, yeah, what we'll do is we'll check for the adits first and then we'll go in them once we've reached the top of the uh, quarry. Is this another one? I think this will probably just drop into where that one goes to, maybe. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that just drops into where that little one goes, or maybe that little one comes out there. Let's have a look. Right, so it drops in. So when I go in there, I'm going to have to drop the dog down. It looks fairly dry, so I'm sure it should be fine. Patch? You reckon you'll be fine? Yeah, no problems. Right, all right then, let's go back. We'll come back to this. Yeah, so we'll have a look in these on the way back down from where we're going. This is the lower workings. Um, so we're going to go up to the higher workings and then make our way down. First mine entrance was just where that little hut is there on the right hand side. So we've climbed up, the sun's out now, and we've came to the old slate buildings here. I think they were the original slate works buildings but they've been turned into like a climbing hut. Uh, this one anyway. There's a few pieces of a pulley system in here. That looks like the brake, brake lever. And there's the, probably had ropes around it. It's the inside of it. Patch obviously inspecting it because he knows what it is. <laughs> How are we then? So this might have been like a winding house, this here. There's no sign to tell you what it is, so I couldn't tell you. Look at this. Yeah. Rig head hut. Camping no fires. Go and have a look in this uh Cut out here. I'm trying to find the um, the high added now, the top one. So we found another one. So we'll go check a bit higher. Come back to that one. I know these join, but like I say, I don't know whether there's a, a way to get to that smaller one, but I'm pretty sure another one comes out there and it's higher up. See, I thought that was the lower one. It turns out there's an even lower one, so it's just another extra one to check. So, 
So we may actually get two mine explorers in this video, depending on the way the dog is when he goes in. If he doesn't like it, then I'll have to come out. I think that up there could be the other entrance, the top added, and then leading back down to that one, and then the other ones that add it on its own. So, like I say, I'll check that. So we think we found the mine, so Patch has got his charge on look, there we are. So let's go and have a look. Oh, it's a sloppy one. Put that there. You can torch on mate. Come here. Can you put your torch on? Go on then, so Patch has got his torch on. Tracks as soon as you go in, and a big, huge water tank. Hold on, Patch. It's a bit warm in here. I'm steaming up. Good lad, you and your torch. I <laughs> leave it. Don't be drinking that. Quite lost right there. It's very warm in here. Oh, it's lovely as well. This room is massive. There's an oven in here. Your feet. Come here. You are, you're doing it. Good lad. What's that? It's just a massive room. So they must have just quarried out this full room because there's nothing in here. It does go down. goes down. Patch, be careful. Mum will kill me if anything happens to you. A little bit slippy on this uh, slate for the dog, so got hold of him. So I don't want him to hurt himself. Of course we've got a long walk back to the car before we can take him to the vets. There you are. So we've just come down that. Patch go slow. Wait. And then it comes down into this. These rooms are huge. Don't think the camera's going to be picking this up. So it just ends here. Hi. Right. No, we're not going that way. Oh, that's lovely. Can you get a picture? Can you get a picture? Hi. Wait. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hi. 
There's Patch's light lock, he's on his way. Oh, it keeps going off. But he must have run out. Look at the way this tunnel's been made. Patch, should we go in there? Oh, well, I haven't. Fairly safe, ain't it, mate? Brick wall there, the right. Ignore that timber. Rock split above head there. Patch just got no fear at all. I'm gonna have to get a shot of this tunnel. Oh, it's getting smaller. Patch doesn't care, clearly. Oh, there's been a collapse here. I should be alright to pass. Yeah, I think this might be the way out because there's a strong airflow. Howie. Really strong airflow. I think what he's smelling is the animals. Animals must come in here. Right. Come here, Patch. Doesn't look like we can get through. Someone's dumped a lot of rubbish in here. Some old pans and stuff. Wait there, mate. I've got to pick him up this glass on the floor. Must just be where they've dumped everything from that uh, house. Or the hut, sorry. Yeah, that's the way out, the way that uh, we've seen. So there's nothing else really in here. So we will go back the way we came in, bigger entrance, and then we'll go back down to that lower mine and check that. Patch is getting a bit fidgety. There you are. tin of sausages on there. Loads of old tins up there. Um, doesn't go anywhere. How are you? Good lad. So yeah we're just on our way back out. It's literally a 20 minute explore maximum. Can I go up there? But it's uh, worth it just to see this tunnel. Patch your torches, Naf. You're not going to be able to go on a big explore now. Put no torch, mate. Bug's still here. Good lad. Well done. Oh, it's brightened up now, it's lovely. Hello. Just checking the snow. He hasn't cut his feet or anything, so he's fine. So, we're gonna make our way back down. 
So I don't think there's any more hiders up there. There's actually no path or buildings up that way, so I'm assuming it's only the one down there. So I think we'll go to that now. Yeah, so before we go in the next mine, I just thought we'd have a little sit down here and you can see for miles. I'm not sure what those mountains are in front. Some massive ones. I think we're somewhere near Skiddo. Don't know whether that's behind me though. I'm not too sure. We didn't see any lakes on the way here either because it was pitch black, so we'll probably stop at a couple on the way home. Well, yeah, that village down, down the bottom there is where we're parked. What's up? Can you not have five minutes rest? So we're back at the one near the first uh, foundations of a building. So we're going to go in this one. He's eager to go in yet again. I think it's because it's warm. Perhaps let me check this one first. Right, so I can see this little bit. I reckon it's going to go to a collapse fairly shortly. Patch, you should wait for me. It's a bit small, but we'll manage. He's already in anyway, so I've got no choice. Yeah, just as I thought, as soon as you get in, it's a huge collapse um, and it leads to where we climb over. Are we Patch? Climb over. So that's where the collapse is, just there. It's amazing that the tracks are still left. the drill holes, the drills were massive, about an inch and a half thick. Even Patches just huffed. He's quite disappointed that it only went this far. Yeah, leave that alone, it's dead. Yeah, this is as far as it goes. Unfortunately. It's like an air pipe or maybe a water pipe next to the rails. Quite a drop in that to be honest, it's about 10 foot. It's about 10 feet. Uh, climb to get in. My patch. Let's get back out. Up. Good lad. Safe to say, we are filthy. Mm -hmm. 
So I've decided to call it a day because um, Patch is struggling to walk. I think it's with a shale. But, so there's no point in going to the second place because it's not really fair on him. So I'm going to take him back. But anyway, there should be a new video underground on Sunday, hopefully. But anyway, thanks for watching. Bye bye.